Hey guys, we're back, and in this video we're going to be talking about um, adding a script or two and getting our scene to look more like a like a game or an experience rather than just that throwing and teleporting and picking stuff up, that kind of thing. So let's start with the basics. Um, this is still a Unity scene, and we can still edit it in the typical Unity ways. So one thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and in my scene, um, I know I can teleport because I have on the plane a teleportable script over here. Um, it was just a component. I didn't have to type it up or anything. I just went add component, type teleportable, it was right over there. So since I can teleport, I can move the sphere and the cube farther away if I want to. So I'm gonna move them farther away, that way I can see them in the game view as well as um, in the regular view. And this cube, because I wanna try something a little bit different, I'm gonna make it grabbable and I want it to be sticky grabbable. That way we can compare the two. So the, the sphere is basic grabbable and then the cube is sticky grabbable. Um, and then just for clarity, I'll go ahead and make the cube also throwable. And um, I have to, again, turn off gravity in the rigid body. And then now they're both throwable. And then one is grabbable sticky and then one of them is grabbable basic. So I also want to right click in the project folder and create, I know it's kind of hard to see because my face is covering it, a material. And I want this material to be, let's just give it some color. I'm gonna make it red, uh, even though blue is my favorite. And I'll, you know what, I'll make blue too. So I'll create two materials and I'll make this one blue. Um, I want the sphere to be blue and the cube can be red. Okay, so I've got some color in my life. And uh, what I want to do next is kind of get them to do something. Like, let's say I wanted my sphere to, uh, when it hits the cube, destroy both of them and then, I don't know, respawn. So we'll create a script and we're going to throw it onto the sphere. So um, all I need to do is I can go to add component. That's one easy way to make a script. And I'll call this interact with cube. Create my script. Now if you do this, it does create the script in the assets folder. So if you don't want it in the assets folder, just uh, create it in the folder you want and then attach it to the sphere. So I'm going to move my face out of the way and I'll come back whenever it's time for some VR stuff to happen. Um, in this script, I'm going to want a couple of things. So obviously if I want to respawn them back in their original locations, I'm going to need my locations. So I need a transform, and I'm just gonna grab the original transform of my uh, sphere as well as the one of my cube. So my sphere, and then public transform uh, my cube, and then in the start function, um, my sphere equals get component transform. Real simple. I could even put, instead of get component transform, I could even put just transform. Okay, nothing too complex. Now in update, I wanna check if, no, not in update. I don't need to do anything in update. We'll keep it simple. Um, if my sphere collides with the cube, if, if that happens, then I wanna do something. So I'll do void on collision enter. And then um, I'm gonna check the other, like the collision, I'm gonna check that object's name. Collision.name. Uh, transform dot name equals equals and I wonder what I called it let's go back in a unity just cube and then what I want to do is I want to destroy the cube and I want uh, the cube and the sphere to respawn in their original locations so um, collision dot game object dot Set active rather than destroy it I'd rather set it active or set it inactive reposition it and then set it active so I'll, I'll set it active to false and then um, I'll go ahead and reposition it you know what maybe I don't want this to be a, a transform but maybe just a vector 3 so I'm going to change those both to vector threes. And I'll call this instead of like my sphere, I'll make it my sphere position and my cube position. I think that would make more sense. Okay. 
you know what, I don't even need to set that one because I could just type it in the inspector. Okay, so again, uh, we collide with the cube, we check its name, if it's a cube, then turn the cube off, and then change the cube's transform position to my cube position, and then collision.gameObject.setActive, true, and now our cube is back where it was um, originally. So this does imply the cube could have moved. Um, then I would also want to do the same thing with the sphere. So game object set active false. No, I can't set the game object to false because I need the script to be running. So game object dot get component ridge body. Aha. Dot velocity equals vector three dot zero. You have to put uh, vector three when you set the velocity. Then I want to do game object dot transform dot position equals my sphere position. And so now I've effectively respawned the cube and the sphere when they collide with each other. Let's try this out. This seems kind of interesting. I'm going to go back into Unity. Um, obviously my sphere now has that script, right? Did I put it on the sphere or did I put it on the cube? I can't remember. I think I put it on the sphere. So I need my cube's position. I'm just going to go ahead and in the transform position, I'll kind of like copy these three values, negative one. You know what? Let's just make it negative one. We'll make them nice and easy values, zero and uh, three. Okay, negative one, zero, three. So I'll go back to my sphere. I'm just going to put the same values, negative one, zero, three. And let's try this out. So not sure if it's going to work. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see if it works. And then if it works, cool. If not, then we'll, we'll make a couple of changes. So I got my headset on. Oh, I should probably turn my, uh, my face on again for you guys so you can see that I am in VR. Turn on my controllers one at a time. Can you see that? Hopefully, maybe. Oh, there we go. One controller, two controllers. And I am teleporting. So I'm going to grab my sphere. I can kind of move it around. I don't want it to be moving too much though. So I'm going to try and like just place it somewhere. Okay, now I want to teleport around that cube. I'm going to try and go backwards, doing some ninja moves over here. Okay, so I grab the cube. This is sticky grab. Now, sticky grab means even if I let go of the trigger, it still moves the cube around. So that's kind of cool. And then I can press the trigger again to release. But check this out. I'm going to take the, the cube. Now, on collision, enter works both ways. So I can collide from the sphere side or from the cube side. I'm just going to throw the cube out the sphere. Whoa. Oh, did you see that? Maybe I should try and throw the sphere. Oh, I missed. How could I miss? But you guys saw that, right? Um, we'll go ahead and we'll reload the scene. We'll try it again. So I'm gonna grab the sphere this time, throw it at the cube, and the sphere's back. Oh, I missed again. But um, real cool, real simple script. Uh, put some color in the scene, it gets things to happen, and there's really not a whole lot of code. I mean, I wrote one script and it has like 10 lines in it. So I wanted to show you guys uh, one cool thing you could do real fast with the Vive Input Utility and Steam VR plugins. I think you need both. I could be wrong. Um, it has been a while since I've like kind of really played around with these and figured out what's um, needed and what's not needed. Uh, okay, so that's it for right now. I would appreciate it a lot if you guys could subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 100 views. Not 100 views, 100 subscribers. And um, if you can subscribe, I really appreciate it. The button's right over there, I think. And then if you can, oh yeah, right there. That's gonna be another video on my channel if you're interested. Um, eventually it'll be the next video in the series, but for right now, just any random video on my channel. I'll see you guys later, make some cool stuff, and have fun with it.